It's often called the heartbeat of the house, but this kitchen was in code blue, or orange as it was. We've infused new life into this room, and coming up, we'll tell you why it represents what's hot and oh so cool in kitchens this year. It's next on Hot Trends Kitchen 2005. Hot Trends Kitchen 2005 is brought to you by the following sponsors. Wellborn Cabinet, Fisher & Peichel, Moen, and the National Kitchen & Bath Association. Welcome to Hot Trends Kitchen 2005. I'm Kelly Dedman, and I'm standing in what was a dream kitchen in 1979. With its telltale orange formica and original dark cabinetry, this room was long overdue for a renovation. And our Hot Trends design team could not get on it fast enough. We created a kitchen that is not only the epitome of today's style, but will give the homeowners plenty of space to grow. It's magnificent. Today, we're going to take you on a tour of this newly renovated kitchen and tell you exactly what makes it a trendsetter. It's both gorgeous and functional, and a really smart way to add value to your home. Now, there are a lot of hidden features in this room that will surprise and inspire you. But before we get ahead of ourselves, let's get a little bit of background on how we got to this point. You know, I'm thinking traditional with a twist. Several weeks ago, our Hot Trends design team gathered for a meeting of the minds. We agreed on two things right away. The kitchen had great potential to be beautiful, but it needed function as well as style. It's a really popular room for them, so we really have to make sure we make it comfortable, a place they want to spend a lot of time in, something they're not going to be too afraid of. You know, something still really warm and inviting, but definitely updated. You know, I'm thinking about we have to give them something with the appliances that's a little bit more high-end, something a little bit more innovative, something they can have fun with, something that's going to make them cook like a real chef. So we got on it. Designer Paula Clancy's challenge was to update and enhance without compromising the traditional style. And the aesthetics had to work hand in hand with function. That's where Master Chef Brian Duffy comes in. After all, what good is a kitchen if you can't easily prep, prime, and serve meals? The team relies on him to ensure that what comes out of this kitchen will taste as good as it looks. With the help of kitchen planning tools online and input from the manufacturers of the key products used in renovations, the Hot Trends team called in the contractors who turned our dream kitchen into reality. From retro to refined, what a transformation. The kitchen was somewhat functional before we renovated it, but it was really outdated. The challenge to any major renovation like this one is to update the kitchen without making it look too trendy so it doesn't look dated once those trends pass. And trends could either be colors or textures. For instance, stainless steel is a really popular option. And solid countertops, like we chose ours from Silestone. That's true, but I want to talk about these beautiful cabinets. Yes. I worked really closely with the Wellborn design team to create this kitchen. Cabinets are where you will spend half your budget on a kitchen renovation project. The cabinets establish the personality, and you cannot afford to make a mistake when you're choosing your kitchen cabinetry. So the best thing to do is try to choose something that's as to the moment as possible, yet something that's still versatile so that it will still work as your taste and accents change down the line. So if our homeowners want to change something in here, these cabinets are going to still work. I mean, they're, they're modern, but they're still traditional. Right, and the reason we chose more traditional cabinets is because the homeowners are a little bit more traditional. Now, the cabinetry is the first major component of the design, so why don't we take a closer look at those? The key word is customization. You want cabinets that look like the house was built around them. These are by Wellborn Cabinet. For our kitchen, we used a Melrose maple door style and went with a mocha cream glaze. We used rustic maple as an accent. So Paula, why a glaze and why maple? 
Well, because maple has surpassed oak in popularity right now, and while glazes are also really popular, I like them because they help soften the appearance and fuse other elements in the kitchen together, like the countertops, which have a lot of different colors. And glazes give you so many options, and so does using accent colors like this rustic on the hood. Well, I really love the glazes, but why did you use a mocha cream for the cabinets and the rustic for the hutch and the hood? Well, because it just defines the personality of the kitchen more. And because you're still using complementary colors in maple, it keeps it all in the family. Well, that makes sense when you take into consideration how family-oriented Wellborn is. We visited them in Alabama for a closer look. The children are working here, the parents are working here, uh, grandparents are working here many years, and some of them are already retired but uh, it feels like family all around the plant. The Wellborn Cabinet family is about 1,300 strong. What do cabinets and families have in common? Well, the tree, of course. By handling it all the way from the uh, log, we can maintain much better quality. Quality that is maintained by the most trusted machines at Wellborn Cabinet, human hands. The only way to really do the detail work is to get in there and do it by hand. Before these cabinets are installed in a kitchen, they're touched and inspected by almost 1,000 sets of hands and eyes. There are at least 18 steps in the finishing alone. The more steps that you do in finishing, the more depth you get. The end result is more than 500 combinations of styles to choose from. And of course, family pride. We feel like it'll last a lifetime for you, so we're not afraid to put our name on every piece of our product. You know, I love all these hidden features in the kitchen, like this spice rack. I do too. It's so convenient, it's great, and it's much better than what the homeowner had fashioned for herself. I agree. These drawers also have a quick release mechanism, which makes it easy to remove and reinsert. Dovetail construction and the fact that the drawers and doors are solid wood are also marks of high quality. And another great thing is this, the recycling. I'm big on recycling. It's all color-coded so you don't have to dig through your garbage. And did you know that this is installed by the factory? Oh. No assembly required. You know, something else I really like about this kitchen is the glass. It breaks up the wood and it gives the kitchen a sophistication that I really like. I love these glass door fronts. You know, this really gives you the chance to incorporate more color with your dishes into your kitchen. And as a designer, I'm always looking for a chance to pop more color. Like I noticed you did that with the hutch over here. I did. I love this hutch. The plate rack is amazing. It's a great place for you to showcase your dishes. Paula, that backsplash is really unique and different. How did you go about choosing it? The metallic tiles are really stylish, and it's a perfect example of how these cabinets allow for versatility. You can go traditional or modern around them, and they still work beautifully. There's a lot of modern appliances in this kitchen, and I think the metallic tiles pulls all the elements together. Yeah, it works really well together. Oh, well, here's something I wanted to ask you. Okay. These baskets, they're sort of hidden from view, but they're not behind any doors. Is this a trend? Well, it's something that makes sense, which makes it a trend that will continue. Yeah, and it's a nice basket, too. So if it is left on the countertop, it looks really pretty. One of my favorite things in this entire kitchen is this great cabinet. It doesn't take up a lot of room, but it has so much space. I know Lazy Susans are awesome. Yeah, you can put so many things there. And a lot mm -hmm. of times, this area doesn't get utilized. It's just dead space. That's right. So this works really well. Here's something every kitchen should have out shelf. I know that is such a smart design. You know, it's so much better than having to climb inside the cabinet to get what you're looking for. And you can see everything. It's right there. And you know, something else that I think is amazing is how most drawers under your sinks are just for show. Mm -hmm. These drawers actually function. They have an inverted frame, so you can use them. If you haven't noticed any door slamming, there's a reason. Hidden behind each cabinet is a cushion that keeps each door from slamming shut. There are cushions made specifically for drawers as well. It's just one more feature that keeps your kitchen nice and quiet. Okay, let's break down this Hot Trends choice. Made-to-order cabinets allow you to personalize your space. They're the footprint of our Hot Trends kitchen. You should choose complementary colors and finishes. We used a mocha cream glaze and rustic maple. You're going to want endless nooks and crannies for your kitchen supplies and preferences. Remember, you can never have enough space. Keep style changes in mind, so your cabinets can stay when the paint color and accents don't. Remember, cabinets are where you're probably going to spend the most on your renovation. You'll want to choose wisely to get the best bang for your buck. Ladies, uh, ready to eat? 
Ooh, I wondered what you had going on over there. It smells really good in this kitchen. This is why I love having a chef on our team. Brian does all the cooking, the girls taught cabinetry. What's better than that? Oh, this is delicious. Mm. When we come back, we're going to get some cooking lessons from our hot trend chef using these extraordinary appliances. Brian happens to be in love with the convection oven. Big surround sound with heat. <laughs> Stick with us. There's a lot more to feast on when we come back. Welburn introduces kitchen cabinetry for the most discriminating taste with door styles in maple, cherry, oak, hickory, and white. Distinctive designs and superior craftsmanship make us a leader in fine cabinetry. If you thought Dish Drawer entertained your guests, Fisher & Peichel's cooking appliances will blow them away. The perfect combination of form and function, they'll make your kitchen the focal point of any dinner party and make you look like a professional chef. Fisher & Peichel, innovative living. DIY FYI number one, how to get DIY Network. Step one, visit our website at DIYNetwork.com. Go to the top right corner and click Get DIY on TV. This leads to a simple form where you tell us a little about yourself and where you live. In a flash, you'll know if DIY Network is available in your area and who to call. No matter your project, interest, or hobby, we've got what you need. DIY Network and DIYNetwork.com. Start here. Welcome back to Hot Trends Kitchen 2005. We've taken this former citrus colored kitchen and fast forwarded it into the new millennium. Working together with Wellborn Cabinet, designer Paula Clancy attained high style in this kitchen. But when it came time to talk function, as in cooking, no one knows its importance better than Hot Trends chef Brian Duffy. Now, you can't update a kitchen and keep the same old tired appliances, especially when there's so much to choose from these days. Now, Brian has been hard at work in the kitchen creating some delicious proof that in order for our taste buds to feast as much as our eyes, you cannot skimp on appliances, right? That's right. Hey, don't be afraid of technology. the appliances. The phrase to remember is sleek and innovative. Your cutting edge kitchen needs to be stylish and efficient. Some place that works as well for hosting a dinner party as it does for making a quick snack. We outfitted our kitchen with Fisher and Peichel. Okay, Brian, let's talk about the convection oven. I have to admit <laughs> I'm a little intimidated. It seems very professional and was hard enough to learn how to cook on a traditional oven. Look, you don't have to be intimidated and you don't have to be a professional chef to understand this. The way it works is a traditional convection oven cooks from two, from two directions, okay? But what Fisher and Pike have done is they've created a convection oven that actually cooks in four directions. So it's like having surround sound inside of your oven. It's pretty cool. So tell me what's in there. Well, oh, what right I have to the cookies. down here, absolutely. <laughs> I actually have seven racks of cookies all mm -hmm. cooking at the same exact time. The way that the airflow works is I have the ability to cook all seven at the same time, so it's not like the tops are, are overcooked and the middles are raw. Everything cooks evenly throughout the whole oven. So no burnt bottoms? No burnt bottoms. Very nice. No burnt bottoms. Okay, so what's on top? Up top is pretty cool, too. This is a double crown New Zealand mm. rack of lamb, okay? And if you look at the size of it, I still have room inside of there. So you can cook large cuts of meat, you can cook small cuts of meat all at the same time. Now, I know that's a probe. Do I have to use that? No, you don't have to, but it does help on certain cuts of meat. What this is, it's actually an internal thermometer mm -hmm. that hooks into the side of the oven and kind of speaks to the brains of the, uh, of the oven. This cooks to the internal temperature that you preset at the beginning. Okay. So it stops the cooking process when the internal temperature reaches where you need it to be. So you've set it to a certain temperature. The minute it gets there, it stops cooking. It stops the cooking. Very smart. It turns the oven off, and it doesn't cook it anymore. Can we, can we taste it? Absolutely. All right. Absolutely. Mm, it smells so good. You know what I wanted to ask you? Because a convection oven cooks quicker, does this mean I have to relearn all my old recipes? No, this actually cooks more efficiently. Mm -hmm. One of the best things about this is that you don't have to use all of the features. You can use it as a traditional oven if you'd like to, so you don't have to relearn all those old recipes. Um, but this is definitely my pick for my kitchen, I know that. Well, I'll tell you what my pick is. Since I'm usually on cleanup duty, it is this dish drawer over here. All I mean, right. look at this. Because it's a drawer and not a door, first of all, it's easier on your back. And there's two of them. 
One for heavy loads like this big pan here, and then the other one for more fragile things like wine glasses and such. You know what, Kelly, after being in this business for as many years as I have and doing as many dishes as I have, I have noticed that when I do go to do something like a, like a wine glass or something a little bit more fragile, that what happens with the dishwasher is that the time and temperature will change of it, but not the water pressure. So when it does go to wash it, it doesn't really give it that gentle feel to it. But this actually does change the water pressure. It's a little bit more gentle on the glasses. These dish drawers also premix the soap here, so your soap granules are dissolved by the time they reach your dishes. And don't forget, you don't have to stack your dish drawers. You can actually have them installed side by side if you like. Whatever fits your kitchen best. So let's sum it up. The high quality appliances we chose are much more efficient, letting you cook and clean different types of items at the same time. They're more flexible too. There are 10 cooking modes here. You can do pastries or switch to rotisserie with a turn of the knob. It's very innovative. They're sleek and modern, but they can fit into any style kitchen space. And they're more functional. The dish drawers are quiet and the convection oven doesn't allow aromas to mix from one oven to the other. Don't forget, having restaurant quality appliances means cooking like a professional. So Kelly, hmm? I guess when you're done eating, you're on cleanup. Well, I guess it's only fair since you did the cooking. Yep. But that's okay. That means I get to play with another hot trends kitchen feature. What's that? The faucets. Ooh. Yeah, you can't live without them and you can't live with the wrong ones. That's right. Stay with us. Hot Trends Kitchen 2005 will be right back. If you thought dish drawer entertained your guests, Fisher & Paykel's cooking appliances will blow them away. The perfect combination of form and function, they'll make your kitchen the focal point of any dinner party and make you look like a professional chef. Fisher & Paykel, innovative living. Wellburn introduces kitchen cabinetry for the most discriminating taste with door styles in maple, cherry, oak, hickory, and white. Distinctive designs and superior craftsmanship make us a leader in fine cabinetry. Do you eat up shows about cooking but want more? Turn to DIY, the do-it-yourself network, and get more done with shows like Kitchen Renovations, Fresh from the Garden, and Build an Outdoor Kitchen. If you build it, they will come. We'll help you get more out of your cooking experience. DIY, from the people who bring you Food Network and HGTV. To get the full programming menu, tune in or visit DIYNetwork.com. Only a moan faucet puts pause control right at your fingertips. It'll help you with those important tasks. Or not. Moan. Buy it for looks, buy it for life. Welcome back to Hot Trends Kitchen 2005. I'm Kelly Dedman, and I'm joined by Hot Trends designer Paula Clancy. I am still savoring that great meal that Brian whipped up for us. You know, there's just something better about dining in a beautiful kitchen. And cleaning up, sort of a, a dirty deed in a gorgeous setting. <laughs> That's right. But that does bring us to another Hot Trends Kitchen feature, the sinks. Notice I use plural because that's the trend now, isn't it? To have more than one sink if it fits in your budget. Well, it is, but it makes sense if you think about it. By having a prep sink on the island, you can prepare your foods for cooking and use your main sink exclusively for cleanup if you'd like. Our keywords here are sophisticated and generous. This is something that could be used on every trip to the kitchen. So pick something that's beautiful to look at and is multi-purpose. We used Moen sinks and faucets. Now, Paula, we understand that the space you're creating could be bigger or smaller than the one we have here. So why don't you break down the basics for us? Okay. Well, if you only have space for one sink, definitely choose a double bowl. It will define your workspace. You'll have one side for prep, one for cleanup. In this case, we use stainless steel because it works best with our hardware and fixtures. Now, does everything always have to match like this? No, not necessarily, but you wouldn't want to put a copper sink in this kitchen. It would contrast too much with the brushed silver that we've used in our details, like the chair legs and the light fixtures. Now, I do have a question about the stainless steel sinks. It tends to be really loud when you're doing dishes, and everything else in our kitchen is so nice and muted. But you know, it's not what you see, but it's what you hear that makes it a trend. Go ahead and tap on that sink. It's got a sound shield undercoating on it, which deads the echo that you hear in traditional stainless steel sinks. It's the same thing that they use in cars to quiet the ride. That's very cutting edge. Well, speaking of cutting edge, watch this. 
This faucet has a pause button, which I love because I am always getting interrupted at the sink. And also, it has this really unique toggle switch so that you can switch back and forth between flows depending on your need. But not only that, it has one more thing. I can pause it and I can switch. Oh, that's very cool. See, what love do you think that. about that? I love it. The prep faucet has three different spray options, and the handle could be mounted for right or left-handed people. Ergonomics at work. These faucets are brand new on the market. They're from an exclusive brand just launched by Moen. It's called Show House. Contractors love installing them because they have a hydrolock quick connection system that actually clicks when it's locked into place. Well, that makes it easy for the non-professionals, too. That way, the do-it-yourselfers can easily know when it's securely connected. Earlier, Master Chef Brian prepared another feast for us at our sink. He used the double bowl to highlight its flexibility. The rinse basket allows Brian to wash multiple items at once. The made-to-fit cutting board wedges perfectly into the sink, allowing Brian to chop fruit with plenty of pressure and easily brush the unwanted portions into the adjoining sink. Other homeowners can incorporate the accessories of their choice to create a customized workspace, be it prepping, cooking, or cleaning. Again, the pull-down faucet with its pause button and other features make all the jobs easier. Something else about sinks here, undermount is the way to go to keep your kitchen streamlined and... Oh, gunk-free. Exactly. <laughs> the old sink here was a drop-in, and they can be beautiful, but you know the problem. Oh, yeah. They trap debris no matter how meticulous you are, and any cracks in the sealant is going to show. And all sealant cracks with age. This one, you can just brush everything, crumbs and all, right into the sink. Yeah, and you know, another thing my clients are demanding are built-in water features. Bottled water is great on the road, but in-house, it gets expensive. I know, and there's a pure-touch water filtration system installed under the sink. And it's easy access through the cabinet. And once it's installed, changing the filters is so simple. Red means it's time for a new one. Amber means it's running low. And green means all systems go. It is that simple. So here's why it's important to pay extra attention to the sinks and faucets in your dream kitchen. Different styles have different features. In this case, sinks with a sound shield undercoating and a pull-down faucet with pause and toggle buttons. Make sure the faucets you choose have a lifetime warranty like these. They'll get a lot of use, so double check that it includes the finish too. Undermount sinks keep the counter streamlined and gunk free. And having a single hole mounted faucet makes for easy cleaning. Consider a built-in water filtration system for great tasting water. And pick one with an easy to change filter. It's a lot less hassle. Don't forget to coordinate your finishes. You don't want brass and brushed nickel in the same space. And personalize your kitchen with accessories that match your cooking style. Stay with us. When we come back, we'll be joined by a certified master kitchen and bath designer from the National Kitchen and Bath Association. He's got tips for designing your new kitchen, be it just a new coat of paint or a total renovation. Only a Moen faucet puts pause control right at your fingertips. It'll help you with those important tasks. Or not. Moen. Buy it for looks, buy it for life. Dreams do come true. Let Welburn bring your dreams to life with cabinetry and cherry, oak, hickory, maple, and white. With door styles ranging from traditional to casual to elegant. Contact your local Welburn dealer today and unlock the kitchen of your dreams. Power. Turn it on. A room comes alive. At the National Kitchen and Bath Association, that's what we do. Turn on the power of our professionals and your whole house responds. We have the experience, resources, and expertise you need to bring life to the busiest rooms in your home. Start with your free workbook and turn on the power of the finest professionals in the kitchen and bath industry. Visit our website today or call toll-free 877-NKBA-PRO. Welcome back to Hot Trends Kitchen 2005. I'm Kelly Dedman, and today we've shown you how we pulled together our creative expertise to create our beautiful Hot Trends Kitchen. But there's so much more left to show you.
I'm joined now by David Newton with the National Kitchen and Bath Association, whose membership includes kitchen and bath designers, product suppliers, and manufacturers. Welcome to our show, David. Thank you, Kelly. Glad to be here. So, what do you think of our gorgeous kitchen? I love it. We see a lot of things that are happening today in kitchen design and some of the latest trends. I think it's a furniture look, but my eye focused immediately on the hearth over the cooking center. That's something that we would not have done 25 or 30 years ago. In fact, we try to hide the cooking center if we could. Today, we feature it. What do you think about our glazes? Well, the glaze really helps, and they chose a dark glaze, which really accents the two different colored cabinets that we have in this kitchen. That helps out. But one word of caution, if anybody wants to use the glaze on their cabinet, they need to think more of a traditional cabinet with a lot of the molding in the valleys and the peaks, because when you wipe the glaze off, it will stick to the peaks and the valleys. If you have a flat surface, as you might have with contemporary cabinets, you just wipe the glaze right off, and it won't adhere to anything. How about this countertop, what do you think? Uh, the three things that I saw with this countertop, number one, two levels, and that's that's great because what we find is that other people are working in the kitchen, we have different countertop heights, they work with the heights of the different clients. Works out great. Second thing is, we don't want the clutter of the kitchen to show, so this elevated counter does that. The third thing, and this is what I'm really excited about, it creates a little bit of barrier. Guests in your kitchen can congregate around the island, but not get in the cook's way as they prepare the meal. So it's a great socializing space. What we're thinking about today is designing the kitchen to meet just everybody's needs. As our clients get a little bit older, it's harder for them to put a pot in the bottom of these deep sinks. With a faucet that we have on the primary sink in here, we can pull the faucet out and actually take the water to the pot laying on the counter. That's another advantage. And also, you'll notice in this particular kitchen, the dishwashers are almost hidden mm -hmm. by the panels. And we have panels today for trash compactors, dishwashers, refrigerators. So we have the opportunity to either highlight the appliance or we can hide the appliance all together. David, not everybody has expert friends like Paula and Brian, so where would someone go for help? We go to the NKBA website. It's nkba.org. Uh, and we represent thousands of kitchen and bath designers throughout North America, so they can type in their zip code and search for a designer near them. But the great thing about it is they can choose a designer that will help them meet their lifestyle and the needs that they have for their growing family, or even if they don't have a family. In addition to that, they'll help them plan a safe environment for their kitchen. Thank you so much for Thank joining you. us today, Glad David. To For more information about the items and designs featured on Hot Trends Kitchen 2005, visit these websites. I think we have done a great job, guys. I mean, look how far we've come from a tangerine kitchen. I mean, from wallowing in 1979 to thriving in 2005, I'm going to say it again, it is magnificent. Paula, you've designed a kitchen with some really great elements. Do you have any parting thoughts? Remember, cabinets are the footprint of your entire kitchen, and they'll take up half your budget, so make sure they're versatile. Consider function as well as design. And think environmental colors right now for your walls and accents. Brian, what about you? Don't be afraid of technology. There's so much more that you can do with your recipes. Try to create separate prep and cleanup areas. Two sinks are ideal. One double bowl is a must. Customize your cooking area to fit your needs, which includes cabinet space, like the spice rack, handy storage, sink accessories to let you work on separate dishes at the same time. You will not regret these investments. Our thanks to Wellborn Cabinet, Fisher & Paykel, Moen, and NKBA. We hope that you've enjoyed your tour of Hot Trends Kitchen 2005 and that you've been inspired by what you've seen. I'm Kelly Dedman, and for the whole Hot Trends design team, thanks for watching. I want that piece. And with the apple. And the peach. <laughs>